Yo, what is good, Lock em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with the first banger of NBA 2K21, the demo. We got ourselves a Steph Curry build that can get locked down takeover. Just imagine doing everything Curry can do offensively, but you have amazing defense. We're going to get into that in a second, but first, I stream on Twitch now, so make sure you click the link down below or in the pinned comment and hit me with that follow. I stream daily or post it daily. I stream often, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Also, we are on the road to 6k subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications so you don't miss an upload. And if you would like, like the video, it helps me out a lot. Now on to the build. Obviously, the name is up to you. Point guard, obviously. If you want to make him like Curry, right-handed. You can make him left-handed if you want. I'm going to go right-handed. Now, if you really want to be like Curry, go jersey number 30, but I'm doing my own number. Number 11, it doesn't really matter. I'm not playing rec and I'm not playing my career. Well, I am playing my career, but you're not going to see me playing my career. So, my jersey number shouldn't matter to y'all much. Now, for the pie chart, there are some new pie charts, but we are going with a 2K20 pie chart, and that is the half yellow, half green, which is half playmaking, half shooting, being the mainstream. So, you're going to have Hall of Fame playmaking badges and Hall of Fame shooting badges. For the physical profile, we are going with the most speed. The half speed, half vert one is not worth it. 74 vertical and losing all that speed in XL, it's not worth it. You're not going to compete with those high fires in 90 something vert anyway. So, you want to go with the most speed in XL possible. That will give you your best possible advantage over the competition. So for the attributes, driving layup all the way up. 80 layup should be good enough. I mean, if you're wide open, I mean, it's not going to really matter with the whole stick layup thing. Driving dunk is going to go all the way up. I noticed that driving dunk for shot creators or the half green, half yellow pie chart has been nerfed. But it should be good enough to get the job done. I mean, if you're only taking open lanes anyway, you should be okay. So for the mid-range shot, we're moving this all the way up. Three-point shot is going all the way up. And free throw is going to be the where you can get 20 shooting badges. You stop there. Post fade, you're not going to move up. Curry doesn't do post fades. And... There's really no reason for you to do post fades as a point guard. Pass accuracy, we're going to move that all the way up. Curry is a willing passer. And, you know, the Warriors have that great ball movement when they're at full strength. They're always among the league leaders in assists. And that starts with Steph Curry being an unselfish superstar. Curry has some of the best handles in the league. He probably has the second best handles in the league besides Kyrie Irving. So, you want to move that ball handling all the way up. Curry does have some sick handles, whether you love him or you hate him. Now defense, you're going to move into your defense, perimeter defense, narrow quickness, steal, block, and defensive rebound all the way up. And look at how these defensive badges are going to skyrocket with this defensive rebound right here. And then you're going to put the rest of that on offensive rebound. You're going to go down to where you get 10 and you got 4 to play with. You can put this wherever. You can put it on free throw. See, it's not going to give you any more badges. I mean, we can see something about finishing. Maybe close shot, you know, you want that close shot rating to be up there. 60 close shots should be good enough to make open close shots. And you got one more attribute, and I'm going to put that on offensive rebound. Why? Because why not? Now look at this, point shot. Last year, point shot's defense was not very good, especially compared to other builds like slashing and two-way slashing playmakers. But now this year, since there's no quick draw, you only need 20. Hell, you can go 17 if you want. I want to have 20. But you can have 10 defensive badges instead of like 5 or 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, whatever you had on your play shot or offensive threat last year. So now it's not going to be like 20 where, oh, it's a play shot. I'm going to bully him. Those 2A slashing playmakers are going to have a hard time with you. Wait till you see what I do with these 10 defensive badges. But, body shape is up to you. I'm going to go define. You can go solid, you can go burrow, you can go built, compact, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to define. Now, last year, I made mine 6'5". I felt like he wasn't fast enough, so I'm going to go 6'4 this year. 6'4 and 6'5, it's not a crazy difference, but I'm going to be way faster, and my jump shot is going to be faster, so I'm going to be able to get that shit off. And with a quick release, and being 6'4", it's going to be insane. You're going to need like a centimeter of space. In 6'5", I didn't need that much separation to get my shot off. But now 6'4", watch out. Now, the weight, I don't think the weight really matters. I'm going to move it all the way down for the highest speed in XL possible. Now, wingspan, 
you can't move it all the way down for the extra shot i mean your shot's already going to be high and your ball hands at 85 and if they have that 99 system that ball handling that shooting it's all going to go up anyway and since it's a copy of pace of 2k20 which it's looking like right now the 99 system will probably be back for current gen so i think you can get away with this but you want to move that wingspan up one or two whatever you see fit i'm going to do one you need to move your wingspan up in order to get lock takeover i'm going to show you actually no you need to move it up twice yeah you gotta move it up twice you see, you see how i moved it up once and i didn't get lock takeover now you gotta move it up twice to get lock takeover look you got long arms you got good shooting rings good ball handling rings good enough finishing rings and you got good defense and you can get lock takeover now you don't have to move your wingspan up you want to move your wingspan all the way down it's cool i mean you only want to move your wingspan up if you plan on using lock take and now having lock take on a play shot like i'm not takeover made i like any good decent player they are not takeover made they can score without these two and you shouldn't need play making I mean, play takes not that great anyway unless they buffed it if they do buff it then that's great hopefully they have it to where you can actually change your takeover you know like you were supposed to last year but we're going to choose lockdown takeover and let's see who we're getting compared to we're getting compared to kevin johnson steph curry and damian lower and you see you have built a playmaking shot creator a playmaking shot creator with lockdown takeover i'm pretty sure that was not possible to make last year i mean maybe it was if you did that at the wingspan too but this year there's no quick draw you don't need to move everything up you know because quick draw it really messed everything up for arranging the badges i didn't have to move up my post feed for extra shooting badges just for quick draw 20 is good enough for me and 17 15 whatever might be good enough for you but we're going to continue. So one finishing badge. That sucks. You see we got the same exact badges as last year. There's no new badges for current gen. Now I feel like with this layup timing. It might be best to have consistent finisher as your one finishing badge. You know timing with the meter with the stick. It might actually be pretty tough. So consistent finisher. That's actually what I used last year. Because you know. 2K has you missing a lot of open layups. Consistent finisher is a great finishing badge. You can go contact finisher, slithery, fancy foot, wherever you want to do. Shooting badges. So, the essentials. Look, no quick draw. Oh my god, it looks so weird. But, ranging center, Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame. Deadeye, Hall of Fame. Now, the rest of this is up to you. I like to have clutch shooter on bronze. This badge saves you. You're going to have close games more often than you would like. Because, you know, skill gap in 2K is not that high. So, clutch shooter, it really helps. I think it's one of the best badges, and you only need it on bronze. Corner specialist, silver. This helps you with those fades in the corner. I don't know if it's going to help with baseline, like it did in 20. If it does, that's crazy. Corner specialist was a glitch. It was one of the best shooting badges in the game. Difficult shots. Bronze is all you needed last year. I mean, oh, man. Maybe I don't need 20 after all. Maybe you can put it on Hall of Fame, go... Even on Hall of Fame, look, one available. Uh, you can do Green Machine. Hot Start is a great, very underrated badge. Maybe put that on bronze. Don't want to put it too high, because if you do miss that first shot, and then you use the Hall of Fame badge for nothing. Difficult shots might be good enough on bronze. We're going to see about that. Maybe I might put that up higher. We're going to see how moving shots are. But in 20, you literally only need it on bronze. So that's what I'm going to assume. Volume Shooter, Green Machine. It's probably between these two at this point. I will probably do Green Machine because, you know, you want as much boost spot. We don't know how shooting is going to be. It might be pretty tough, so maybe Green Machine might be the best bet for you. Playmaking, Quick First Step, Hall of Fame. Handles for Days, Hall of Fame, that's the obvious. Unplockable, Silver, I want to go higher because we know it's not going to work. Bailout, Bronze. You know, sometimes you're going to be in a tight spot. And last year, bronze is all you need. Maybe they nerfed it. Maybe they buffed it. Who knows? Space Creator. Hall of Fame. Those snatchbacks, they be sending people flying. Tight handles. Hall of Fame. If you're a play shot, you want to be able to have your best chance possible to break people off, stun them, and get open for three. If you stun someone with tight handles or Space Creator, you get that centimeter space. You're 6'4". You're going to shoot quick as hell, especially with a quick release. So... These, these badges are essential. Now the two extra, Dimer Silver. Dimer Silver's been good enough for me, if you play it the right people. Maybe even Bronze. I prefer Bronze, but there's someone that needs Silver. But I, don't, I think higher than Silver is a waste, because, you know, 
there are people that they either make the shot or they don't, you know? Gold Hall of Fame, you know. If they can't make it with silver, I guarantee you they're not going to do much better with gold or Hall of Fame. Just so you know that right now. Now, defense. Now, this paint mashing BS that people try to pull on you last year with the six defensive badges. Now I got longer arms and lock tape. Peep this. Clamps. Gold. No blow buys for you. Chase down. Bronze. Intimidator. Gold. Rim protector. Gold. No paint mash for you. Intimidator works on perimeter shots. It makes people miss open jump shots too. So, yeah. This is the best defensive badge sub with these 10 defensive badges. You are not going to get paint mash at 6-4 with this badge sub. If I made my play shot like this last year, man, because I was already getting stops at 6 defensive badges, and I know a lot of you were getting stops with 5, 4, 3, 2, or even 1 defensive badge. So imagine yourself with these 10 badges. I promise you are not getting bullied. So, you know, we all know that uh, shooting is a little different every year. In the beginning, it's tough. So, Making a good shooting build that can dribble and get himself open and run the pick and roll. This is a great safe build for current gen. And you're going to play a Curry, but you're going to have defense. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch once again. And I'm going to have some videos on the entry. It's like it be all 20 videos at this point. If you want to watch them, go ahead. But if you're watching this like days or weeks from now, there should be 21 videos on this end screen. But till next time, I am out. Peace.